Um, yeah, speaking of John Wick, actually. Uh, so, you know, we recently saw John Wick and I'm going to spoil the ending here. Mm-hmm. Now, it's been out for two weeks, so I think it's a, it's a good enough timeline now. If you haven't seen John Wick, pause the podcast, skip over about four or five minutes, and then, um, yeah, continue listening. But we, we're going to talk about kind of the ending of John Wick 4. Um, so at the end of it, he apparently dies. Um, and I thought it was extremely under, underwhelming yeah. because it, it, it felt like he was just going to come back. Or like, I thought that in the last scene of the movie, it's going to be like, he's going to appear, like watching his own funeral. Or, and then they're like, oh, you got nothing, something else. And he's like, yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> Classic uh, John Wick. Yeah, exactly. And then, no, he, he dies. And then I read that uh, the director's like, no, yeah, we're going to take a break from watch these John Wick movies. That, that was the last one. It's like, oh, oh, okay. That definitely didn't feel like it. And I want to actually say goodbye to the franchise like properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, did you feel the same way with John Wick 4? Yeah. I, I I mean, to be fair, he went through a lot in that film. I'm like, how, how are you not he dead? He should have died on the third one and he jumped to that <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, it, it was abrupt for me. It, it didn't really have an emotional payoff mm, as like exactly. as like James Bond did. Like yeah. you know, I was building towards that moment, yeah, that man. sacrifice. Oh, that is yeah, great, but, great stuff. Yeah, but you didn't really see it in this. It was just like he got shot. He so- sat on the steps and then, and then he like sort of fell asleep. But you don't know if he just passed out or died. <laughs> yeah, and then I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, and then the next scene it was his funeral. Just like oh, okay, yeah. So, and like he was with people as well. What what's his Winston? Like yeah. we could have at least gotten like a shot of like Winston running down the stairs and checking his pulse, that would have given him like a good indication of like, oh shit, he's gonna be dead yeah. or dying. And then the next scene, mm. he's dead. That would that would have a lot more emotional weight than what we saw. Absolutely, yeah. No, yeah. Oh man, you take me back to the No Time to Die. That that hit me that scene. <laughs> and, and you're not even James Bond fan. Yeah, I mean, I like those movies, but I'm not like a I'm like a fan of it. I'll watch them and I'll enjoy them. Yeah. Um, they're just so hard to miss for me. Um, but you yeah, know, I, I watched that and yeah, it was emotional and it was very satisfying. Um, and so if you had that in this movie, man, I would have loved John Wick 4 so much more. And I would have been happy if they just left it there and done. But if they're going to do this, then they, yeah, I think they needed to wrap things up properly. Um, but yeah, so John Wick 4 did uh, amazing at the box office. We covered it last week. It opened up huge. And now Lionsgate, hey, they're like, hey, you know, like, let's do John Wick 5. So, you know, Definitely. money and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, Lionsgate, I think they're only other good franchises, the Hunger Games. And even then, that's still, Total mess. Yeah, that's still great. Yeah. Scraping at the bottom of the barrel with that franchise. But... Yeah, John Wick 5 is now being considered because of just how dominant it was at the box office. And yeah, so we know that it's going to be for money now. Do you want them to do John Wick 5 or should they leave this at where they're at? I mean, I wouldn't complain about seeing another John Wick, to be honest. Yeah. It's it's always entertaining. It's a visual spectacle. Mm. It's just great action movie fun. Yeah. Um. The way that the fourth film ended, I don't really want to see another John Wick. I'm more mm. than happy to see um, Ballerina, the Anna Diana spinoff. Yeah. And explore that a lot more. Yeah. Um. Oh damn! I had a whole lot to say. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I think the only reason why this got announced was because of the opening weekend. Yeah. I Definitely. think it came if, after that. So yeah. I think if they waited for this weekend, then they're like, oh yeah, okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, so it might, it might halt them on their decisions. Be like, oh, because I think yeah. this weekend, because the first weekend is like a, you always know it's going to perform well, even if yeah. it overperforms. You're like, awesome, where we built this franchise over three films and a yeah. of like our success. Cool. The second week is really the week where, you know, it's make or break for a franchise whether you want to continue or not. Yeah, I mean, if it dropped and ended up making like forty to thirty million, I'll be on board with the idea. But like, it's a mm. good decision or not a good decision, but it's like a justifiable decision. Yeah, you know, it it backed up its first week with a solid second week. Mm. Um, but because it made oh, I can't remember twenty eight million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty eight yep. million. That's a huge drop from seventy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Sixty two percent. 
So I definitely think um, Lionsgate jumped the gun a lot in this mm. uh, news. Well, they haven't I mean, officially announced yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. yeah. So, so they can easily just be like, ha April Fool's. <laughs> yeah. they, they literally could be like that, yeah. <laughs> you know, but mm. um, yeah, in terms of John McFarlane, I don't want to see it. I'm happy with um, Chad Stileski. Is that yeah. his last name? Yeah. I know he wanted to talk about having a break. I'm more than happy for him to have like a break three, four years and then come back and revisit this franchise again. Mm. That would be good because then John Wick would be out of the minds Yeah, a lot of people. Ballerina would be, you know, that self-sustaining franchise and mm. then we'll be like, oh shit, John Wick is here. Yeah. They could, yeah, they could do a yeah. crossover and a team up movie kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm on the other side of this. I, I want them to, to have an actual farewell to John Wick. I just, yeah. I can't believe how you know unceremonious it was. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like that franchise is over. It's like they kind of just it feels like it's just begun. Yeah. Because um, they went through a lot. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I in terms of the box office, it's yeah it dropped heavy. It can still sustain itself. It has no competition coming up to Guardians. Um, you know, it's good word of mouth. But if it drops over fifty percent next week, and it's like okay, yeah, this is these are sharp drops, because the first or the first or the second weekend drop, it's always going to be the largest one for a, a movie's run, unless it's like Shazam. Uh, <laughs> but no, not even that. Not even that did that. That dropped forty nine percent in its yeah. third weekend. So if John Wick is dropping over fifty percent next weekend, it's like okay, yep, this is this is not good. Um, but. Yeah, I only want them to make it if there's an actual story here, not because you want to make another seventy million dollars opening weekend kind of thing. Yeah, so uh, that that's my take on it. Um, 